James, it's been just over a week since we last spoke out after the Albion Rovers game. How's things went in training since then? Is the boys ready and raring to go for the league action starting this weekend? Yeah, it was good having the, the free weekend to to work with, to give the boys a bit of downtime as well because they had played back-to-back Saturday, Tuesday games. Um, and again, with, with the injuries that we have picked up, the squad was was a, bit, a little bit smaller, so they deserve the time off. But we've also had the chance to get a lot of work in them um, in the days leading up to that. Um, more tactical work rather than we've done a lot of the physical stuff throughout the pre-season. And then it's been a really good build-up to the Airdrie game. Um, they're looking sharp, they're, they're excited for the start of a new season. It is a new season, but it's familiar opponents, so you'll know exactly what to expect. Yeah, Airdrie done done great to come up through the playoffs. Uh, I think Rhys McCabe is a, a fantastic young manager. Um, it's strange me saying somebody's young, but no, look, he's done a great job. I've got a lot of respect for him. Um, they've done well. How familiar they'll be, I'm not too sure, because I think in the four games we played them, each game played out completely different. It was there were. Uh, those games were a bit crazy at times last season. Obviously, one we lost two men, um, one we were three 0 down. So just to, to talk about those two in particular. So, but they've, they've got a set style in the way they, they do play. They've used that in pre-season. We've we've seen their games. They've done very well against Dundee, and they've done very well up at Inverness as well. So we're under no illusion just how tough an opponent they can be. But they, they'll also be aware of that um, coming here. Just how tough we can be to play against as well. So just in terms of team news you mentioned in your first answer about having some niggles that you were hoping to clear up for this weekend, so how, how was that going? Yeah, most of the niggles are cleared up. The the downside is Dennis has picked up an injury. Um, we've been very lucky to get Harry in quickly. Harry's a, a goalkeeper I know. Um, I'd worked with him when he was 16 at Dundee and gave him his debut and, and watched him go and get into the first team up there and, and do pretty well. So we're glad we get that in but disappointed for Den off the back of a fantastic season a record breaking season for a club's goalkeeper um, the week before or the week of the, the first game he, he picks up an ankle injury thankfully it's not as bad as the other two and no surgeries required but like it's a, personally it's a blow for Dennis um, obviously the human side of it to, to be out and, and doing a rehab but um, for the team it's a blow as well because he was excellent but look, we're very comfortable with the two goalkeepers we've got and, and getting Harry in quickly and, and a thank you to Dundee for that. And just in terms of the, the supporters as well, I'm, I'm sure a thank you to them for getting behind yourself and, and the boys at the start of this season. Season ticket sales probably closing in on 3,500 come kick-off time on Saturday so a great back and by the supporters so early on in the campaign. Fantastic and... and they, they deserve Saturday. Look at it as another. Or people are looking at it as a celebration in terms of it's it's a flag day. Um, it's a bit different for the celebrations last year on Trophy Day and stuff like that. Our full focus this week is 100% on the 90 odd minutes of the game. But the flag days for the fans, the ones that they backed us ever so well last season. That's a reward to them for that. And then they've come out again and. Uh, Love to, or I, I normally sit here and say I'm surprised with the backing but I've been here a year now I'm not um, they're, they're so passionate about this football club and on the other side of that they demand it, that we give everything and if, like, like I always say if we continue to do that and continue to make them proud then they'll continue to back us and, and we're going to need them again in another it's a tough season this is a very very tough league um, but, but if we can have the fans on our side then we can make this place a really tough place for teams to come and and get a result, and, and to come and get a result here, we, we need to make them come and fight for everything, and with the backing of the fans, then it certainly helps.